I've now upgraded my laptop to Ubuntu 21.04, here's to Hippo. The automatic updates were previously disabled due to a bug that could result in a computer being unable to boot. It's unlikely that would have affected my computer, as it was limited to older computers, but I decided to wait anyway. I've since got the pop-up to upgrade, so I went ahead and upgraded my system. The upgrade was successful with just one problem, and that's that I had a screen connected using DisplayLink through a USB-C dock. The dock was recognised, but the screen didn't work. This is just a case of installing the drivers, but a word of caution that you need to ensure you have the correct display drivers installed first, otherwise you might not be able to use either the internal or external screens, and obviously that makes it quite complicated. I'm running a laptop with a built-in NVIDIA graphics card, and it's that that caused the potential problem. So the way around this is to run with the open source drivers rather than the NVIDIA drivers. If you launch the applications and enter drivers, and you see that icon, additional drivers, And this is going to show us any proprietary drivers that are installed. It says none, but it just needs to load. As you can see, at the moment I've got NVIDIA drivers and they won't work. If we try and select those, then it's going to break. So we need to use x.org x server with Nuvo display driver. I have to authenticate and now it's going to install those drivers. It's going to take a short while to do that. While that's doing that, then you can download the DisplayLink drivers. If you go to www.displaylink.com and then choose Downloads and Ubuntu. It doesn't have any drivers specifically for 21, but they've got the 2004 drivers, and you can download those and install those after changing the video driver. So click on download, it's a zip file, you just need to unzip it and set executable permissions and run it. And that should install the drivers let's wait till this is finished first okay once that's complete then you can download say unzip the file and then run this so you can install the drivers so the file that you download is a .zip file, and you just unzip that, just using unzip, and then the, the name of the, the command, the file you've downloaded. Then set executable permissions on that, and then you need to run it as sudo, and that will run and install the drivers. I won't do it here because I've already installed it, so it won't run properly anyway. And now you should be able to reboot and make sure it's working properly. But what if you don't select that driver first and you end up with a system that boots, but you won't be able to do anything because the screen uh, doesn't display anything. Don't despair. As long as you've got an alternative kernel, you should be able to select that from the Grub boot menu. That won't load the display link driver. You can then change to the open source video driver, as shown previously, reboot, and then it should work correctly. There's one more thing about Ubuntu 21.04, in that it now defaults to Wayland, which is a replacement for x.org, which is the system that, that runs the, the Windows environment. This is not a problem for most people as most applications should work correctly. 
but I often use screen capturing software such as Simple Screen Recorder, which is actually what I'm using here to capture this. And when I tried to run that, it gave an error message. So that's just a case of going back to the login screen and selecting Ubuntu on X.org instead of the standard Ubuntu. And that's just in the bottom right hand corner in the settings option. I think Wayland is going to be the future. Hopefully all applications will get upgraded to support that in future. But for now, I'm going to stick with running X.org. And other than these issues with the screens, very happy with Ubuntu so far. Everything else seems to be working fine and uh, no problems with the upgrade. So there it is. It's not a long term support version. So if you want to stay with the most stable version, you might want to stay on the, the long term support. But if you want some of the more cutting edge latest features, then it's a worthwhile upgrade. And I've also created another video on running Ubuntu 21.04 on a Raspberry Pi. If you're interested in that, uh, see the link in the description and the uh, video will be showing on the end of this video. I hope you found that useful. If you did, please click a, a like so that uh, helps other people find it and please consider subscribing to find out more about Linux, Raspberry Pi and various other maker topics. And I hope to see you on a future video. Thanks for watching.